Good morning. It is Wednesday, and this is Learn to Pray with Mumsy. First of all, why would you pray and who are you talking to? Prayer is talking to God. God is Jesus and Jesus is the Spirit. So it's all three in one, but it's one. And the reason why I would be qualified to teach you how to pray is because I know him. And all I wanna do is teach you how to talk to him. So we're, we're gonna start with that. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I am not an expert of anything, but I am a person who has known Jesus Christ as my master, savior, and Lord since 1988. So that is 31 years. I've been talking to him every day. So how do you pray? Well, prayer is talking and listening. So I have a scripture for you in front of you. The scripture says, this is the words of Jesus in red, which are over here. This is an NIV version, which is New International Version, and this is the Message Bible. It's the same thing. And this is what I wanted to show you. This is how you pray. This is what Jesus says. Here's what I want you to do. Find a quiet, secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before God. Just be there as simply and as honestly as you can manage. The focus will shift from you to God, and you will begin to sense his grace. Matthew 6.6. 6. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to... Praying is, is communicating. It's talking and listening. So most of us already know how to talk or communicate. Listening, how you listen, is you read the word because God always agrees with himself. He's left us his word, the full counsel of his word. So a good way to start is you can just start by listening. You could start, you could start with this, just finding a place to calm down, be by yourself where you're completely alone. And in that, at that time, you would emotionally take off all of your masks and everything that you have that protects you and guards you before the one true eternal God. So a lot of times that's what you, you know, need a quiet place in a rush or at some times when I need to, I will just, um, I'll use the, most people don't bother you in the restroom and to be even more private, I put my fingers in my ears and I just focus on him and talk to him. So you can do that in your mind and he hears you, or I would recommend that you talk out loud. It helps, or even write it down. You can do that. That helps you to process some of your things. You don't have to be somebody else. God actually loves you just the way you are. I think for most of us, as soon as we realize that we are before a holy God, I mean, the first thing we notice is that we're flawed and that we're sinful but you can do that. Um, because we're humans, we're always thinking about ourselves. So you just wanna take some time and some practice to shift your thinking from yourself to God. And you can just listen. That's hard for me. So practically, um, when I pray, which I practice every day praying, I practice, I take it as a discipline. And I get on my knees and pray 15 minutes a day. But when I started, I had to start with five and I still do set a timer because it's important to do it every, to, to pray every day. You talk to people you love and God is a person. That's what he's a person. And you talk to the people you love and you know often. So I do have built in it discipline and routine which may or may not help you because I'm a distracted person. So I wanted to kind of keep this short, which I don't do very well. 
I think that you have the idea, but now I would just encourage you to get to a place where you are alone and turn off this video and just try it. So pause the video. Okay, I paused the video and I prayed for you. And I wanna show you where I am. I'm, this is my garden spot which has suffered a lot of neglect and lack of attention. So I am working on it and I am enjoying my fire. And um, that was my, I don't have my Barbie lip gloss on or my, or my nose ready. Sometimes you just gotta put on your Barbie lip gloss and blow your nose and go. So this has not been perfect, but I was hoping to teach you to learn how to pray. It was about a month ago or so when I went to Crab Orchard High School that God dealt with me that I should do on Wednesdays a training session on how to pray. So I find a quiet place outside, sometimes on my couch, and I read the word and I pray, and now I'm doing a video for you. So if you have any questions, comment down below. I want to remind you how much I love you, and you can't do it wrong, especially when you're alone. Nobody knows, so... I'll be glad to pray with you. I am a praying person. I know Jesus. He made himself real to me and he answers my prayers. <laughs> he, not all of them. We can talk more about that later, but he is listening and he does care. How's that? So you could try. You could try. You could try. Let me know how it goes. I love you. It's not perfect, but I did it.